Hello, boils and ghouls. How are we all doing today? I hope very spooky. With wearing the mask all the time, I am breaking out like crazy. So I'm so sorry that they're just in your face. They're just, my pimples are just looking at you right in the face. I'm so sorry, but not sorry because it's not my fault. You know what I mean? Um, today I'm starting off my look as always with my P. Louise eyeshadow base and we are using my Glamoween palette, baby. This is my collaboration with Spoiled Cosmetics. If you have not seen it already, you are missing out. You better get on that website. And you better get you a Glamoween palette because it's perfect for Halloween. Look at this thing. It's so cute. Yes, ma'am. So this was the look. Um, this is actually I'm getting ready in this video for my photo shoot that I did um, in my little witch costume for this palette. So um, this is the look I did for the photos. I'm going in with Cobweb, which is my extremely dark black matte shade. Then I'm going in with the shade Autumn, which is this beautiful like brick orange very deep brownish brick orange shade. I don't really know how else to explain it, but it's stunning, okay? And then I'm going back in with Cobweb, just deepening that crease up a little bit. And then I decided to go in with Pumpkin just to make it a little bit more orange. I wanted to use as many shades as I could for this look, so get ready, okay? Because it's a roller coaster, honey. I'm doing my infamous V-shaped eyeshadow because it's my favorite. I just feel like it makes me feel the most seductive, spooky, and pretty, you know? Then I'm going in with candy corn and I'm really just going crazy and smoking everything out. I'm smoking out the orange with candy corn, which is the yellow. And then I'm also doing it up like on the lower part of the eye. Then I'm going in with Vampire and Haunted House. Vampire is this very deep purplish burgundy color and Haunted House is a dark purple. So I just mixed them together and connected it with the black on the outer corner on my lid there. Then I'm going in with Zombie and I'm just kind of connecting the purple shades we did and everything uh, that's left on my lid and going into my inner corner with it as well. And then I just keep going back and forth with all the colors, of course, just to deepen them. On top of Zombie, I'm going in with the shade Lucky 13, and this, whoo, honey, look at that. It made it like this beautiful mint green color. So stunning. I just popped it right on top of Zombie. Then I take my Crybaby Liner from Spoiled Cosmetics, and this is my favorite thing to do. I love to do this. Um, I just kind of create a thick line on my lash line and blend it in with the black. So I literally just do that, and while the liner is still wet, I take black and pack it on top and smoke it out. Let's do the other eye. Oh, and the foundation. I'm so quick. I'm using this P. Louise Blank Canvas Acid Rain Base. I'm just using it for the lower lash line and putting it in my waterline as well. Um, I didn't know what color to do down there, so I just decided to use this just to make the shadows really dramatic on the lower lash line. And I put it in the waterline so I could take Zombie, the eyeshadow, and just pack it right on top of the waterline, and it worked like a charm. So you can literally do that trick with the Blank Canvas P. Louise Base and put that in your waterline and you can put any eyeshadow color you want to right on top. And it was perfect, you guys. It literally worked so well. I was shook. I've never done that before, but it worked amazing. I'm putting Lucky 13 in the inner corner, doing my inner corner point, really smoking out the lower lash line the same way we did in the crease and highlighting that brow bone, honey. This is the Sigma Lash Fan Brush. This is the one I always use to highlight my brow bone. I also use it to highlight the bridge of my nose, the point of my nose, and my cupid's bow. I'm using these Spoiled Cosmetics lashes. They are just really long and kind of wispy. I didn't want anything too crazy because, I mean, oof, this shadow is something else, y'all. It's stunning, though. I was obsessed with it. I really didn't know what I was doing with the shadow. I just kind of wanted, like I said, to use as many colors as I could, and it ended up being so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. I'm taking Lucky 13 and highlighting my cheeks. Yes, ma'am. And my forehead. Oh, man. Look at me. And then I'm using the shade Melon from Spoiled Cosmetics. This is the most perfect orange color, you guys. Oh my gosh, if you're looking for a good orange for Halloween, Melon is the one, baby. I just like to line my lips with a dark brown and then pop it right on. That's it for this tutorial, guys. I'm sorry it was so quick. I was actually getting ready for the photo shoot, so I didn't get a lot of good footage, but I still wanted to upload because this look was so pretty. Oh my god, I couldn't believe it. The orange, the yellow, the purple, the green. It's just spooky town, baby. Spooky town on my eyeballs. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying all of my videos, and please make sure to click the link in my description box if you want to get you a Glamoween palette. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.